one point of confusion could be that what is the difference between display templates and partial views when to use what we'll first of all examine the similarities and then we'll proceed on to go to show you the differences what are the what are the differences and where should one use one be used and where should the other be used first of all let us see what is the thing that is causing the confusion partial view and display template both look structurally similar both of them have sometimes model t written at the top and some html plus razor display template model t html plus razor structurally they look similar i am a bit hesitant on saying that they are exact structurally exact because this line at the rate model t is not compulsory inside a partial view partial view could be plain html also but generally partial views do have this line and they do have html and razor mixture here similarly display templates also they do not carry this line many times especially if they are displaying a string or the model is deducible and if it is correctly passed and you use its properties correctly inside the razor here this even is not necessary in case of a display template although we put it so that intellisense is available to us and html and razor is there now what could be the like difference between them when to use what the usage is uh, first of all let me come to the concept the concept is that display template is used to define the appearance of a model or a property it is used to define the appearance of a model or a property like uh, we can say uh, we have a c student data model class and we want that in our project and in the entire project c student data should appear as a table so wherever we want to show the c student data model object it should be displayed as a table for that we'll de we'll define a template we'll define a display template placed under the display templates folder and a line written at the top at the rate model c student data full path to it and the table html and razor written inside it and wherever we want to display that c student data object there we simply write at the rate html dot display for model and pass the name of this template and optionally pass the data or if the data is a part of the view then you don't need to pass the data it is automatically done by the mvc framework so this template is basically going to be used for rendering a particular object or its properties on the other hand a partial view is used to generate html it generates basically html from the model it is actually used to prepare html so that it can be sent to the client browser this html can be prepared with the help of an action method and inside that action method you return partial view 
the whole story I am not writing here or as a standalone when you directly pass data to the partial view it is basically used to generate HTML by mixing it with the data using the razor syntax partial view is not anything that is bound to a model in fact partial view in the process of generating the HTML can make use of display templates a partial view might look like this at the rate model T and inside at the rate table and here you might write at the rate HTML dot display for so a partial view can get you make use of the services of the templates so partial view you should simply see as something that will generate HTML for you and display templates they will be used to display a property or an entire model in a particular format for consistency across the website you can you can use partial view to return HTML to the browser but display templates cannot be used for in that mode you can't use a display template to return HTML to the browser display templates can be used to generate HTML inside a partial view but not directly to the browser it is the partial view that can contain display templates or view that can contain the display templates that will return HTML to the browser partial view is a view that is without that contains only the body part it will not include the not doc type story it is a standalone so if you, you can write return partial view inside your action methods and you can return the HTML to the client but there is nothing you can't write return display templates or something like that and if you want to use display templates to return HTML to the browser either the display templates should be put inside a partial view again see at that point it is simply used to render the model the objective is rendering the model but sometimes you can use a partial view without embedding display template in itself like this consider this this is a display template it has a model T and some HTML is written inside it here I have action result action method I can return partial view and pass the complete path to the display template slash views slash home slash display templates slash uh, let us say I call it my t dot cshtml comma 
pass any data this data this is the first argument is the full path first argument is the full path to your template file with the cshtml extension and second argument is the data that this display template accepts in that case this display template is used like a partial view although the basic objective of display template is not to return html it is to format a model but if you still want if you already have a code that is being used uh, for displaying a model and you want to return the html for that model to the client server to the client side then instead of writing a separate partial view duplicating this code you can use an existing display template just like a partial view except that you have to give the full path to your display template so now you should ask yourself though your point should be clear that a partial view will be used when you want to return formatted html to the client browser and display template will be used when you want to generate html on the server side for a model that html might be finally merged with the partial view and returned so to summarize this lecture we discussed similarities one both generate html usually with razor plus html two both never mix with the layout file when i say don't they do not mix with the layout file white what i mean is that whatever is the html written inside the display template file or the partial view file that html is returned as such without getting embedded inside the layout file these are the similarities and these similarities they often cause us confusion regarding what to use where so the answer we gave is that your partial view should be used when you want to create html that has to be returned to the client browser and display templates should be used where you want to render a model or a property for the use of a partial view so that a partial view can make use of the display template while creating that html partial view generates html for client browser and display template it generates html for rendering a model or property you can use a display template inside a partial view file to help it render the final html and third thing we learnt is that you can use return partial view if you give the path to the display template with proper data you can use a display template to directly return html through the partial view function if proper data is passed and the proper path to the cs html file is written in the first argument so with this i close this lecture so we'll write more artistic design now we know what are the exact differences where to use what thanks